Hey guys, it's Angie from Lucky Little Learners and I'm here today to teach you how I start teaching my kids addition with regrouping. When I start teaching addition with regrouping, I think it is essential that we keep those manipulatives in our kids' hands. They need to understand the why and the what before they understand the procedure. So as you can see here, this is my favorite choice of manip manipulatives when it comes to addition with regrouping, the Unifix cubes, and I like them because you can stick them together to show that regrouping 10. Another tool that you can use are the place value blocks. Another tool you can use if you don't have any of these is you can take just popsicle sticks and beans and those can be your tens and ones. You can get pretty creative. The other piece that I think is essential when first starting out teaching addition with regrouping is a place value mat of some kind. If you scroll down past this video, you will see that this place value mat is available to you for free. So scoop that up. So let's get started. If I'm gonna teach my kids the 17 plus five, I'm going to give them manipulatives and I'm going to tell them they are going to build 17 first. So they'll take their Unifix cubes and they will build it on the place value mat. 17. And then I ask them, what are we adding to 17? Five more ones. So they'll put five more ones and they're going to always fill the first frame, the first 10 frame, the top one first. We don't separate the two pairs of blocks. Now the question is always, I tell my students this, ask yourself the question, do I need to regroup? Do I have enough to make a 10? It is obvious here, and this is why I like this place value mat, you can see it has a 10 frame. When you fill up a 10 frame, you are ready to regroup. So the answer obviously would then be yes, and I tell them they need to push their 10 ones together to make a 10. And once they get pushed together, the regrouping part comes into play. And I tell them to use that word regroup. They're going to regroup those 10 ones over to make one 10. And so here we have the answer, two 10s, two ones. Our answer then would be 22. You can choose to have your kids actually writing these numbers out as well to begin with, or just model it for them on the easel or on your marker board or the document camera, okay? Same thing goes for these 24 plus six. Here's how you would do it using place value blocks. So you'd fill up that top frame, two tens, four ones. I need to add six more ones. Six. Then I ask myself the question, do I have enough to make a 10? Can I regroup? The answer is yes, because the 10 frame is full. So here's where they're not physically connecting them together. They would literally just push those off, substitute or trade or regroup for a 10. I hope this video helps you to understand how I start addition with regrouping and you can pull in a tip for your classroom as well. Thanks.